that time again where I show another how to do what I do. Hopefully you won't end up like the rest. Today we have a few targets to take out. These are high class criminals. People you have no doubt heard of, but who have also done things that you may not have heard of. The weapon of choice, of course, is the snipey, shooty thing 3000, which may not look like much. That's kind of the point. This thing will shoot the fly off the wall in your uncle's house, who lives five states away. And... Silencer, of course. This way, people won't hear you. And when you're done... Simple. Now you're going to come with me and I'm going to show you how to use this thing, okay? Cool. I hope you're ready. Let's get going. Keep a tight hold on your belongings and a sharp eye on your kids. This miserly thief once split their kid's sister down the middle with her own safety scissors just to get at a dollar she swallowed. After drying off the soggy mess, they shoved their grandpa down the stairwell and sold his walker off for parts. Think what they'd do to someone outside the family. Why, it's the wonder that anyone at this party still has their clothes on. Normally, taking your eyes off your change purse would mean it getting melted down for the copper. Glance at that melted copper and your organs will have made it to Cuba before you even feel the stitches. It's a poor thieves' work, but... Compound that work to fill every second of the day, and you've got a pretty penny on your hands. They've stolen enough nickels to fill a junkyard with scrap, and they've stolen enough junkyard scrap to recreate the whole of the United States military in perfect one-to-one -one scale. If you've ever searched behind the dryer for a missing sock, or looked in the medicine cabinet for a hair tie, you've been looking in the wrong place. God. Speaking of which... Where are my keys? Where's my left hand? Oh, it's right here. In my right pocket. By, uh, by my keys. Now let's get this bastard already. What? That's him. Trying to steal the statue, huh? Not on my watch. It is said that the next person we're looking for is not just guilty of making himself disgustingly rich by exploiting loopholes in the system, no. There are other acts you surely won't know of. He once stole from the owner of the Loch Nor estate in Virginia. What did he steal? The family jewels. Sure, eventually they settled in court and Sir Loch Nor got his jewels back, but you can't just sell those things back on. Like permanent marker. That shit is permanent, and trust me, it left a mark. Shortly after that, it was revealed that they didn't even wash their hands after using a public restroom one time. If you ask me, I'd say the person we're dealing with is closer to being a pompous slug than a wealthy, hard-working individual. Now all we have to look for is one simple mistake, and we have them. Ha! Huh. Aha! Uh -huh. He purloined the guest list. The next one on the list is apparently a bit of a wine person. They don't drink. They whine about every little problem they have. Which is funny, considering the rumors going around. My sources tell me that our target isn't necessarily malicious with their actions, uh, not on purpose at least, but they cause so much shit for everyone around them that it has reached boiling point. Oh, wait. That's just the water for my tea.
that'll be ready in a couple of minutes. Lemon tea to calm the senses, specifically my sense of morality. This job can get to you at times. As I was saying, this is a bit of a problem person, so I don't expect them to be able to carry out their spy duties effectively. I half expect them not to carry them out at all, which, in a sense, is the last thing we should expect. Hmm. That sneaky bastard. They're trying to trick me. They think they're so smart with their non-action, thinking it'll fool me? Well, it won't. I'll kill everyone in this room if I have... Oh, wait. That's them right there. I don't think they really did anything they came to do, but slamming a book back into the bookshelf is bad enough for me. He won't be harming books anymore. If I'm not mistaken, our next target is a real stick in the mud. Uh, well, not a real stick in the mud, but a figurative stick in the mud, where they represent the stick and the, the mud represents their resistance to change. It's not that they won't accept other people's opinions or alter their point of view, no. They just hate coins with a passion. You know all those politicians, statisticians, and cosmeticians trying to get rid of the penny? Well, the one we're after is the one pulling the strings behind all that action. They, uh... <laughs> they already got the Aussies, the Kiwis, and the maple-breathing ice suckers up in Canada. If we don't stop them now, those pretty boys in Washington and the ugly ladies in London might follow suit. Sure, it's inconvenient to have to buy something for nineteen ninety nine and have that penny in your pocket only to have it get sucked into the void located in the back of your sofa, never to have it seen again until you do spring cleaning in autumn, because you were too busy to clean in spring two years ago. But won't someone please think of the children? Now we have to give them twice as much money for their birthday. Unless you don't give them anything at all, but who could be that heartless? Oh, it seems they're trying to transfer some microfilm. A bullet in the noggin should put a stop to that. Only one target left. Last, but not least, is a money laundering maniac with a crafty plan to infect the integrity of the fashion world. Last summer, they raked in a mountain of cash that would send Scrooge McDuck into cardiac arrest, and they've already spent half of it on plastic watches. The influx of business artificially inflated the market, sending investors grappling for every crappy time-telling ticker they could find and plunging the whole world into chaos. Without the contents of this gun in that crafty little head, we may soon see a re-emergence of pleather pants, fake feathers, and artificial artwork as far as the eye can see. I haven't the slightest idea what they might look like, but I'm willing to bet my genuine leather holster that they're an ugly fucker. Is that? Oh, I bloody knew it. enjoyed that session. I hope you learned a thing or two. And if not, well, at least now you know that the world ain't so pretty. I don't think you thought that these people living in their nice fancy houses weren't that nice, but the atrocities that they get up to, frankly, it disgusts me. Which is why I do what I do. Anyway, I better get back to something really important. Or not.